Welcome back to Let's Talk. This is me, Mira. Today, like, I'm going to talk, like, about, like, a lot of things because, like, I think you must have guessed by now. So, basically, we used, we use, like, so often and not as a verb form, like, not to like. We use that as a filler and that is why I've mentioned avoid saying like especially as a filler. Now I have few sentences for you wherein I have mentioned how we use like as a filler and then I'm going to give you options for the same as to how you can completely remove like and what you can replace it with okay so let's quickly begin guys i'm very excited for this because these days everybody says like so many times and i actually count on my fingers especially if you are my student and if you're saying like believe me it's going to cost you a dollar or a penny for every like that you say do you want that to happen well if you don't continue watching this video and let's begin with the first sentence i was like I want to buy this. Basically, you're using like in a conversation or to mention a conversation that happened previously or just a while ago. Now, let's take a look at you. What is exactly that you want to say? You want to say that you just saying or someone just said that someone wants to buy this. Maybe you wanted to um, probably express certain emotions or certain sensitivity behind it. So let's take a look at words which we can completely replace. So instead of saying I was like I want to buy this, I was so excited. Instead, I let's just say I said I want to buy this. I mean, how basic can the grammar get? As basic as your first standard or your fifth standard, whatever. But said is something that you can go along with without making a mistake. Well, probably someone yelled. So you can say, I yelled at her. Or if you're taking the sentence, I yelled, I want to buy this. I want to buy this, you know, or I screamed. Or you can simply say that I wish I wanted to buy that. I just wished, right? So these are the simple words that you can replace, especially when it comes to conversation. Um, what I would do is I'll give you another sentence for the same conversation. I was, he was like, let's go there. All right. Let's go there. He was like... All right, now how can you replace all of this? Basically, you need to add a lot of emotions to an expression to this. He said, all right, he expressed, let's go there, or he wanted to go there. See how I've changed the sentence? He expressed, or he wanted to go there. Or he mentioned, let's go there, right? Mentioned. See how we have used different words and avoided the word like as a filler completely. Similarly, there's something else that I have. I think we need like um, $500 for the trip. Basically, you're talking about an approximation here. You're talking about a certain, it could be time. Um, it was like 12 a.m. in the night or it was like 12 a.m. at midnight is something that you want to say. But like is a filler, guys. Please remember, you do not need to use like. Well, what do we need then? We need certain adverbs. Now, what kind of adverbs? So we can say um, we need about $500. So about $500. We need slightly around $500. See how I use two adverbs. So slightly around, of course, approximately is one of them. We need roughly $500. So roughly Somewhat, somewhat, 
somewhat. Similarly, like I said before, your like is correct because I use it as a verb. Now, these are the adverbs that we can replace it with $500. Similarly, you want to talk about time, right? And you do not know the exact time. So you can always say around 12 a.m., roughly, near, right? Near $500 or something. So these are the words that you can fill in without using like. We are replacing like and I want all of you to start using different adverbs and adjectives in place of like. All right? Well, let's move ahead. Next up, we have a phrase. Now, we, ha we use phrases quite a lot in our daily life sentences as well. So here I'm speaking, Nina was like, mind your own business. Did Nina just, just say it, mind your own business without any expression? I doubt that because this is a pretty heavy phrase and whenever someone is saying this phrase, that person definitely has certain expressions, right? So what are these expressions like? So Nina could um, have snarled as in uh, pointed out and with a lot of irritation and anger must have snarled at someone saying mind your own business. So I would say Nina snarled mind your own business, right? Or I can simply say, Nina cried and said, mind your own business. Here I'm using cried as a verb as well as said, right? Both verbs. So, Nina cried, mind your own business. We can always use Nina screamed. Well, let's take another phrase. Nina was on was on cloud number nine, right? Nina was on cloud number nine. Nina was like on cloud number nine is something people might say. Here, I can actually use other adjectives and expressions to express how happy she was, how excited she was. So I can always say Nina was excited. Nina was happy. She was on cloud number nine. You do not need to say like for everything. Well, uh, Nina was like, mind your own business. Nina snarled mind your own business. Nina screamed, mind your own business. As simple as that without using the word like. All right, guys, you're doing very well if you're, if you're penning it down, if you're writing it down, or if you're trying to remember this, that, hey, I'm not going to use the word like. And just try to test yourself. Um, try to Put in, a, put in one dollar or one penny with each like in your piggy bank or just use, um, use your own test methods to not say this word. Stop saying like. And with that, I would, like you take, I would like to take you guys to the last sentence that I have over here. I was like, so hungry. Doesn't this happen to you guys? I have heard so many people use like to just express what they feel or what they're feeling right now. I was like so hungry. Instead, you just need to say I was famished. Or some people might say I was like um, so happy. Just say remove like and so and use I was excited. Right? See how we're replacing so many things. We used famished. We used excited. Right? We used uh, I was like so tired. Right? Another I was like so tired. I was exhausted.
And this is how we have replaced all these words. We have used famish, excited, exhausted. There are so many lessons on this, on this very channel about how to replace all these things. Go ahead and take a look at that, but make sure that even when you're talking about a conversation like so, if you're talking about approximation like so, when you're talking about $500 or time, or when you're talking about phrases, such as this very one, this one right here, then a normal sentence where you are talking to your friend and you are so hungry or you're like so sad or you're like so angry, right? We are not going to say like or so like. Instead, we have replaced it with different adjectives to express yourself much better, to make your English flawless and smooth. Well, this is it for today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. I will make sure that I come up with another lesson wherein we talk about how to completely avoid saying like, right? I know it's a problem with so many out there. I will try and help you for the same. But until then, make sure that you're practicing to avoid saying all of this. And I will be back with another lesson. Until then, keep practicing. Keep smiling. I will see you very soon. This is me, Mira, signing off for the day, guys. Ciao.